So not too long ago, I got a request to do an update on the Polywall TCG situation. And since my last video was posted quite some time ago and a lot has happened since then, decided why not do it? Because my personal opinion of Kevin Madden has vastly changed from that video up until this video. And believe me, not for good reasons. If you recall, that last video ended on a sour note because we were waiting to see what was going to happen. Kevin Madden massively mismanaged funds and was trying to fulfill his Kickstarter promises. Well, sadly, here I am to say several months later that that never came to fruition. Some of us did get our boxes at the expense of giving him more money, but the majority of backers got an F you and his nuts in their face. Because apparently that's how he rolls and that's all she wrote. Because this guy likes to go ghost more than the ghosts and Ghostbusters. And I'm not even kidding you. What happened? Are you okay? He slimed me. That's great! Actual physical contact! Can you move? I'm sorry for actually defending this man and for trying to give him the benefit of the doubt last time saying I understood why he did what he did. Because now, I'm right along with everybody else and saying that this man is a scammer, including Renee from Storage Wars, who was in the Discord because he also backed this game for thousands of dollars. And he said he got his money back from this scammer. And when somebody asked if Kevin was going to end up in an episode of that show, he said he is going to end up in an episode of that show when they go to buy his storage unit for non-payment. And I thought that was hilarious. Any score. But that's just the world that we live in. And if you haven't been in the Discord for the last several months, and you've missed a lot of chaos. Craziness has been happening. Tons and tons of negativity, as you can imagine, because people are so pissed off. With everything else that's been happening with other Kickstarters, you can understand why people are up in arms about this stuff. And unfortunately, like I said, this man likes to disappear often. You want to get a hold of him, you got to speak through 50 different intermediaries. It's like playing some kind of fucked up game of telephone. And you're lucky if you get your question answered after like a month. At this point in time, he's been gone for like two months plus. There's just not a word from this man. Completely ghost. And unfortunately, I don't think he's coming back. But rewind it a few months, and we're going to start from the beginning. Because a lot has been happening. He hopped into Discord from time to time. People were asking him questions. He tried to answer them, yada, yada, yada. Acted like he still cared about the game a little bit. Told us that there was investors. But apparently one of them pulled out because there was so much negativity going on. It just seemed kind of shady to me. Like he's just trying to get people to be more positive or something. He never wanted to disclose any of these supposed investors, but apparently they did exist. Just giving people false hope. I don't understand pushing it back. So the time frame that you had to get your money back was shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. I guess in his favor, it's a common tactic that these guys like to do. I don't really know, but it seemed like that was happening. At one point he met somebody and shortly after gave them mod access because there was nobody else here to do it. And within an hour, this guy becoming a mod, he was like threatening people's lives. And Kevin had to come back and revoke it, which is sickening. But literally, that's what's been happening in the Discord. This absolute craziness. Like, you can't make this stuff up, unfortunately. But he finally came back and actually seemed like he cared. Like, he actually admitted to his faults and said that he fucked up. And he wanted to fix things. And he got people talking. And at one point, I thought he was going to shut the Discord down for good because people kept asking the same questions over and over and were pissing him off. But eventually I came in and I reworded it in a way that got him to actually talk. And we started to discuss what he spent his funds on. And it came apparent pretty quickly that there was like 60 or $70,000 that was just never accounted for. Despite Kevin trying to tell us what he spent his money on, saying that a website cost him like thousands of dollars to make, which was complete and utter bullshit. But even with that, apparently there's 60, $70,000 that's just not accounted for. And if that's not sickening enough, this man decided to quit his job after the Kickstarter closed, before the game was even out, before anything was even printed, and was paying himself massive amounts of money from the funds that we gave him to pay his own bills. Which, you can say what you want about it. At the time, I was like, it's not that big of a deal. But thinking back, it is kind of disgusting because there's no reason for this man to be quitting his job in the first place and using our money for that purpose specifically. I can understand to pay yourself a little bit because it is a full-time job in the beginning trying to get this off the ground. But at this point in time, I don't understand it. This guy acts like it takes a full eight hour shift to send an email. Because in this day and age, when the game ain't going anywhere, like what is he working on? He acts like he's working his balls off. It's like you sent a couple emails and you called somebody. Like that's all you did. It didn't take a full eight hour shift to do that. But apparently in his mind it did. I never understood it. But I guess that's the way it works. I don't run a business. I don't know. But that's the kind of shit that's been happening, right? 
but we talked to him and he gave us these figures and we couldn't account for, but you know what? We're gonna brush it on the rug and we're gonna get these boxes out anyways because he had some money down. He said he could send out the first 500 and then somebody else came in, reworded it in a way that people were happy with and it came to us that we were just going to spend another $20 per box and we can get our boxes, at least the first 500. And even then, even after that went through, some of us did get our boxes, including myself, out of that 500, I think only like 392 or 396 have been shipped. And since then, the guy is just ghost and not helping the other guy that ordered like 100 boxes. And that's just an example of what's been happening in the Discord. After that, he basically went ghost again. And it sucks because he acted like he cared. Like it really seemed like he was there to try to make things work out. There's people that kept saying, I'm not going to give you an ounce of anything. I'm not going to give you any more money, which is understandable. To me, it was justified because the boxes initially were so underpriced anyway, like criminally underpriced. Like he did not give himself a good, you know, campaign in my personal opinion at all. Like just terrible the service to himself because those boxes should have cost like $20, $30 more. So for me to give him 20 bucks extra, it wasn't a big deal in the first place. But a lot of people didn't want to do it. I understand that. But there was plans on him getting out another 500, this and that. And he was coming on every couple of days to talk to us, but then all of a sudden just disappears again. He said he was going to go to a convention for the very first time. Because keep in mind, this man has never been to a convention and you wonder why this game is completely dead. I don't understand it. He just constantly gives us bullshit reasons of why he's disappearing, why he wasn't able to go to a convention, saying that people were just canceling his, um, his applications and stuff and he just wasn't able to get in, which is nonsense. But he finally said he was going to go to one, which was literally a hole in the wall. It was like a local convention. It wasn't even very big, but he was going to go to one. People were excited about this. And then he goes ghost, comes back like a week afterwards and says, oh, my car broke down. I wasn't able to make it. It's like, bro, you didn't even try to make it. And you didn't even tell people that you weren't going. So if anybody showed up to this event thinking he was going to be there, they got a big F you. All right, fuck it. That's what we're doing. All right. We're going to be fucking with you. Little stupid ass. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck. So at this point, I just don't know what to say about Polywall TCG. It doesn't look like it's going anywhere, unfortunately. I'm sitting on a bunch of boxes that are worthless at this point in time. And unfortunately, it looks like it's going the wayside like a lot of these other Kickstarters. And I didn't want to think it was going to be a scam. But now he doesn't seem to care at all. Somebody said that he actually told them that it's not making him any money, so he doesn't give a shit. He doesn't even want to sell the IP off, which I think is ridiculous. At this point, Kevin, just sell the IP. For a while, I was on board with him being, you know, like the art director of the game because obviously he created the game. He has a vision for the game. I want him to stay on board, but now I don't want him to have any right to this game. I don't want him to be involved at all. Just sell it off to somebody else. People have actually asked if he would sell it. They offered him amounts. He turned them down. So I don't know what's going to happen to this game, but this man has been gone for months at this point in time. And the Discord has just turned into a freaking clown show. The names of channels have been changed like Poly Scam. He has a role now on his profile that says Jackass, which I think is hilarious. You suck, you jackass. People are just memeing in there left and right, advertising for other games. People come on every once in a while not knowing what's happening. And unfortunately, they get his nuts in their face. <laughs> it is what it is. Polywall TCG. For lack of a better term, is dead in the water.